name is Alyssa and I have decided to do my informative speech on stress and how it affects the body. Everyday people are dealing with the impacts of negative stress. But did you know that there is such thing as a positive stress? I know it's hard to think that you could put the words positive and stress in one sentence, but reality wise you can. There is such thing as a positive stress. Our three main points that I will be going over is how stress affects the body negatively, healthy habits to reduce stress, and the benefits of stress and the positive outlooks of stress. The first point that I'm going to go over is how stress affects the body negatively. I'm sure everyone has dealt with the negative stress, some of us probably more than others, and some that deal with it always on a completely basis all day long. But have you ever been curious on how it affects your body? Well, it affects a person's body very negatively in many ways. It can affect your heart, your brain, your digestive system, your reproductive system, and even your muscles. Stress can be managed, but when your body is overloaded with so much stress, you're at more risk for many, most of these issues. According to American Psychology, Psychological Associations, there are three different types of stress. There are acute stress, we have chronic acute stress, and episodic stress. Acute stress is one of the most common stresses, and it can cause emotional stress, muscular problems, and stomach problems. Episodic acute stress is mostly found in people who take too much on in their lives. They're always rushed, they're always just a full schedule and they seem to never be able to get things caught up or organized. It can cause heart, heart disease, hypertension, migraines, and chest pains. Chronic stress is the worst stress. It destroys bodies, your mind, and your life because it can cause people to want to commit suicide, become violent, cause heart attacks, strokes, and even cancer. Once you are in this stage of stress, it is very hard to cope with and is very hard to take care of. It is almost impossible to treat this kind of stress. What healthy habits can you do to reduce stress and avoid it becoming chronic? There are a few different things you can do. One of the best things you can do is to talk to a friend or a family member that you trust and just talk about everyday life. You can talk about the negatives or the positives. Either way, talking is one of the best ways to deal with stress. You can become more active in your life, like go to the gym or take a walk in a park or at a beach and just look at the beautiful nature around you. Um, the families laughing, kids having a great time, getting as much rest as you can is a great way to get rid of stress. Organizing your life, taking out all that negative stuff in your life, anything that's negatively impacting you that you know you can get rid of, just get rid of it. Who wants to live with negative people or things in your life? Take it out and make it a positive. And the biggest thing is remember to laugh, whether you remember your kid's smile on their face when they scored a big goal in one of their games or a trip that you may have taken a, long, a couple weeks ago or a year ago. Um, make sure you get out and enjoy yourself, whether it's with friends and going out to the club and dancing your stress away or sitting down one night and watching a movie. And one of my favorites is Friends with Benefits. I love watching Justin Timberlake shake his booty to jump. <laughs> that is a great scene and it's a hilarious movie definitely one to watch the positive stress is the positive stress is called you stress it motivates us on a daily basis um, as long as we can control our stress when it comes to school and becoming motivated it is a very great stress it affects us positively in many ways I however are one of those people that I'm a last minute procrastinator. I wait until the day that it's due to do my work. It's something that motivates me and it becomes a challenge to me. I do know that I have a limit 
and how far I can go with my procrastination. In high school, I didn't really, I wasn't really good at the whole time management stuff and knowing how far I can go with my procrastination. But now I do. Stress can also be a cognitive enhancer, which means it can improve our intelligence. Um, it helps us focus and it can get us out of dangerous situations. Like if we have someone chasing after us, it will help us run faster or get us out of sticky situations. It is also a physical enhancer. Stress actually helps athletes a lot and people who fight in UFC or anything like that. Help the fighters and athletes take more hits or running faster, like football. Football is great. You can take more tackles than normal with the adrenaline and the positive stress going through your body. The body and mind can be affected negatively and positively in the results of stress. With a few everyday life habits you can do and with lifestyle changes, your life can be less affected by the negative impacts of stress and benefit from the positive aspects. Even though stress is a daily thing and sometimes going to be unavoidable, there are ways to reduce the stress and help change our ways to try to prevent it from harming us. The best thing for us to do is remember life itself and how great it is and the positives there are and never forget to be you and smile on a daily basis because that's what will keep us going. Thank you.